All right, folks, welcome back to the Marshall Football Walk-On Dynasty. Today we're at Oregon. They are 4-4. Four and four. The beginning of the season, they were projected to be a top-10 team. And, of course, to our dismay, they have stumbled, fumbled, and ruined that. So this game is a lose-lose for us. But they are still an A overall. A lot better of a team than we are. Their quarterback's name is Butterfield. Although he's doing pretty good. 18 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. We are on a four-game win streak. We'd love to keep that going. And the shaky bar continues. They are a 99 offense. This is not going to be a fun time. I'm scared to death, but we got to do this. And maybe we can at least come away with some respect. Yeah, we gave it a shot. Didn't really have much of a chance. It's going to be uh, tough to pretty much gain any ground all day. Starting off pretty hot on defense. Good TFL by, uh, I believe that was Nathan Stewart. Scotty Watkins gets off of his block with a TFL. Happy birthday to Scotty Watkins. He just finally grew up from being three years old, and it's a good time. MJ Cunningham gets a tackle. We need help, and it gets there. Pat Williams, great stop by the defense. Offensively, we looked scared, but defense came out right away, did something good. Maybe that'll help our morale. He scrambled. Whoa, Jason Sanchez, the Old Dominion transfer. Seth Jones, we had to get out of the pocket there because they are just collapsing on everything we do. Jason Sanchez open wide again on the corner route. Great blocking by the O-line. This is what we need. We're gaining a little bit of confidence. I can tell the offensive line is meshing together. I'm hoping the defense kind of uh, inspired us to realize that even though these guys are better than us, that we can win this game just by being good people. Going to have to... Oh, Champy's going to get down to the five. All right. We got something working here. Vince Randall drops it. Damn, we almost had it. Oh, what? Something happened there because Jampy was open, but I think Seth Jones got pressured. It really pains me to take a field goal. Like, I really just feel like somebody, if they would just gouge out my eyes right now, it, I'd be much happier. But we can't walk away with zero points after the defense did a fantastic job. What are y'all doing out here selling this game? Okay, big breakdown on the defense there. There is a flag, however. Look at the Zebras. Never have I been a fan of them more than I am right now. They're going to get it called back with some kind of offensive pass interference. I don't necessarily know what happened here. I'm going to assume it was that cut block on the outside. Or that one downfield, I, I couldn't tell you, but we look lost out there a little bit. <laughs> Whoops. We just made a big mistake. There was just so much momentum. This Will Hoyt man just made us eat it. I don't know. I, I had so much momentum going that I couldn't even stop in time. And then we just got demolished on the back end. Rough times. Cole cannot believe we snuck that one in that corner. That's what you get for wearing number 43, buddy. That is not a traditional corner number, and you got lit up. Granted, I did not like my read on that. I uh, probably threw it at the wrong spot, but eh, we'll take what we can get. Uh, that was not ideal. That should have been a bigger gain, but we'll take six. Fourth and one. Gotta just believe in our team. If we can't get it... Oh my goodness. Their defensive tackle, number 91, just bullied our entire offensive line. That was not a pretty sight. I mean, I have no clue what we were doing out here. I see what 69 was doing, but our right guard and our left guard just making out here and, and and just ruining our shot i really think against a three-man pressure we could have got a first down rushing the ball I, it's it's a you know a big leap but 
Jeez Louise. Oh, this is not ideal. Rayshon Lewis going to track him down. Wow. I legitimately have no commentary yet to that. That was horrific. But they are stronger than us, faster than us. It's going to be a tough one. Uh, Jovan Austin, nice catch. As you can see, Seth Jones has been hurt just from getting blasted all game. Bruh. Well, you knew that was coming. And if he did miss it, uh, they got a clipping penalty on the return, so defense will get a chance to come out and embarrass themselves. Seth Jones has a concussion. I wish I did too, so I didn't have to remember this game, but he'll be out for the rest. Lauren Davis' is show the rest of the way. That's why you got to stay ready, even as the backup quarterback. Jerry Turner snags one for himself. I'm proud of you, buddy. Last week he had a rough game at DB, but picked off Jay Butterfield because they were rolling. And we can't complete an accurate pass. That is unfortunate. Okay, a little razzle-dazzle, little magic from Lauren Davis. Great blocking by the O-line there on that little read option. Vince Randall, good stuff on the quick little drag. And we're going down again. The routes took too long to develop. O-line is having a bad day. It's been unfortunate. We may just scramble out, try to hit Jampy real quick, do a little bit of cheating, and he's going to break a tackle. Can he make another one? Great day. 32 yards. We ran the shark wheel, so I figured we might as well scramble out. Good stuff by the O. God. Bless it, I suck. I thought we had a lane. And now Lauren Davis is hurt. Lovely. Now we're down to a walk-on quarterback. Okay, good stuff on the outside. MJ Cunningham. <laughs> Gotta be an interception, Nathan Stewart, with the deflection. We are technically still not out of this game, but I cannot stop throwing interceptions. It's what I do at this point in my life. But it has to start happening now. They got some pressure, and, you know, that's for the third string quarterback, not bad. Okay, keep moving. We'll just try to keep beating them on the corners. Good stuff. And that's lovely. Just throwing up a jump ball, and we don't even pay attention. Lovely. Okay, good start. Defense, good start, guys. Good tackle, Nathan Stewart. He's got to throw it in a Nearly Jerry Turner almost has himself another interception. Good stuff by the defense to start out the second half. <laughs> Off target throw. Wouldn't be Lauren Davis without one of those. Oh, yep. That's about where we're at here. Fourth down, I figured we'd give it some kind of shot. Hey, kid. You ever think about retiring? No. You think about it. Yeah. Uh yeah, I got nowhere I can go with the football on fourth down here. Figured maybe we could split it between those two if I pass let it left. Was not meant to be. world they get in for another touchdown it just started raining incidentally kind of matching my performance my mood terrible as always i figure we'll give it one more drive let me throw one more interception before we simulate out of this one because i'm not having any fun being here jampy will get a solid run 
Vince Randall cut up to it. That was not an on-target throw. And we're going down again. Don't got enough time for any routes to develop once again. 13, Jovan Austin, good stuff. Surprised we actually had some protection. Vince Randall, back of the end zone. Finally, we get in. It's been a drought. It's been awful. But Lauren Davis gets himself a touchdown. I go an entire drive without throwing an interception. Miracles do happen. Good TFL out there. Derek Bailey, the linebacker, one of the Bailey brothers. We got pressure. Stanford Chase, or I mean Nathan Stewart knocks it down. Good stop by the defense. Carlos Jackson. Vince Randall. Good work to keep his feet in bounds, being that tubby. Oh, my God, we can't even escape the pocket. But fourth and three, we got to go for it. A field goal does us nothing. Vince Randall gets us the first down. Quick, simple. Jason Sanchez down to the one. Thought he was taking that one in. And Jampy is going to walk in, get himself a touchdown. We're down by seven points. They're not stomping us into the ground, which I am thrilled about at this moment. Jampy has been the one fighting all day from his running back spot. It's been tough road to hoe, but he's been doing it. Good stop by Scotty Watkins and Stanford Chase. Two TFLs for Mr. Watkins today. This man ate hella extra birthday cake, so that's what's fueling him right now. Almost got the stop. The bad thing is they're just so much stronger than us. All their players are 90 overall at least. I am proud of the team though for not, you know, giving up. We could have lost this game by 30 points. Look at this dude. Give me a break with the breaking tackles. Jay Butterfield. They pulled this dude off of a tractor in Kansas somewhere. There's no way he has an IQ higher than 63. A quick one off. Good call by their O coordinator. Damn. They're just going to run this one in. Justin Sanders. Man, their safeties are just too good. We had it, but I hit it too late. Unfortunate. We are going to go ahead and just simulate out of this one. Unfortunate loss. You hate to see it. But we battled. We didn't get completely embarrassed. You know, that's something to hang your hats on. Stats on the day, and that is not a good thing you want to see. Three quarterbacks playing. Seth Jones got knocked out early, 73 yards. Evan Russell did what he could out of his third string spot. And Lauren Davis, 164 yards, one touchdown, four interceptions. The one was at the end of the game, and uh, basically because I am a human trash bag. Basically, I can't read anything. I just need reading Rainbow or something, but horrible day all around. Take a look. It's in a book, a reading rainbow. I can go anywhere. Rushing-wise, Jampy did what he could, got himself a touchdown. Receiving-wise, we tried to spread it around. Sanchez had a great day with 86 yards. Randall at 57 and a touchdown. And everyone else doing what they could. Really couldn't get much going. Three sacks, not what you want to see. Scotty Watkins leads the team with tackles. TFL-wise, Scotty Watkins had two, led the team. Cunningham, Chris Banks, Nathan Stewart, and Derek Bailey all got one. Jerry Turner with the interception. Good to see from the Juco. Two deflections for Jerry and Nathan Stewart. Stewart's been coming on strong out of his corner spot. Coach, coming off a four-game win streak. A tough game and a tough loss today. How are you and the boys feeling? Well... Can't say I feel great. Tough environment. A lot of negativity that happened today. We got two quarterbacks going down. Just really couldn't get in sync offensively, defensively. I thought we played well relatively to where we could. But, I mean, you could just tell they were 
better prepared, faster, stronger. It just was not going well for us, but I am proud of the team for not giving up when we were down by, you know, 21 points or whatever it was. We did battle back, couldn't get it all the way done, but still, you gotta give the kids some uh, credit for that at least. What is the injury status for both of your quarterbacks right now? Injury status? I know here at Marshall we really never divulge injury stuff. Apparently this is like Fort Knox, you know, Area 51, the Bermuda Triangle, we can't divulge any kind of information. But Lauren Davis is going to be alright, he just got a little nicked up. And Seth Jones got a concussion, as you guys I'm sure are well aware, he kind of hollowed out the field. He's in the protocol right now, it's kind of 50-50 on if he's starting next week or if Lauren Davis is going to have to prepare to be the starter when we head to Western Kentucky. And that's all I got, really. I don't, I can't answer any more questions. Uh, I'm not defeated, but I am sad. We couldn't, you know, pull it a little bit closer, maybe try to get a win there at the end, pull off something, but yeah. Good luck to you all, and uh, goodbye. All right, so next up we have the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. They are three and six. Hatred renewed, that is very correct. I hate them with all the passion inside of me. If I got any left after that last game, they are going to be a C-plus overall. They're not necessarily world killers by any means. This was, I believe, supposed to be our 75 weekend game, but with it being at WKU, I do not want to celebrate it there, so we will go ahead and celebrate it during the ULM game. We'll be home. It's a couple days after, but not the end of the world. So that's going to do it for Oregon in this episode. It is raining. Maybe by some miracle, a tornado or hurricane will just come and wipe us all away. But that is all I got. Everybody have a good day or night. Try to survive out there and I'll see you in the next one.